Well, hello everyone. Uh, for dinner tonight, uh, we have uh, Alicia and Fields uh, lamb. Um, farms here uh, for the lamb are in Pennsylvania and Ohio. Um, honestly, it is probably one of the, uh, the best lambs I've ever tasted. Um, <clears throat> one nice thing about this lamb, uh, it's all purebred. Um, there's no antibiotics um, ever used, uh, all natural. Uh, uh, a lot of graze, grass-fed lamb. Super delicious product, very nice fat. Um, so what we have here is the uh, rib rack, uh, nine bone rack. Um, and uh, what we're doing here, this is gonna be served with uh, Yukon potatoes, with uh, green um, cauliflower, and uh, we're doing a uh, chimichurri sauce with it. So we'll be making that in a little bit, but first things first, let's go ahead and portion up this lamb. We're gonna get uh, nice two bone pieces here. So when you look at that, you can really see all that nice, this rib meat right here, absolutely delicious. And then uh, we got nice marbling inside. Uh, it's a really nice product. Always helps to have a nice sharp neck. So one of the, this is uh, one portion here. Uh, very nice fat content again. All right, so uh, first things first, we're gonna wanna uh, preheat a uh, pan. So we're gonna want the pan that's gonna get uh, nice and hot here. Gonna add that over about a medium to high flame. Nice thick uh, pan um, is gonna help really uh, give you that nice caramelization on the, uh, the lamb fat help render it down, hold the heat in there. Uh, we're gonna make the chimichurri sauce. So, uh, chimichurri sauce, we've got uh, <clears throat> we've got chives, parsley, cilantro, oregano, um, and then we're gonna use some spices in that, uh, some garlic, shallots, and uh, <clears throat> olive oil. And then I've got one of my favorite vinegars. Uh, it's a uh, ramp vinegar. Uh, so, <clears throat> I know it hasn't really felt like spring with all the snow lately, but, um, this ramp vinegar is actually made from last year's ramps. Um, still has the mother in it. Uh, it's a really nice uh, spring vinegar. So we're gonna start with uh, some chives in here. In the blender, we can put everything in here whole. Um, this blender is gonna take the, and puree that down for us. And then we've got uh, some Italian flat leaf parsley. some cilantro, and a little bit of oregano. I'm also gonna add to that uh, one whole shallot and about five nice cloves of garlic. <clears throat> We're gonna add about a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper, uh, freshly ground. And then we've got some cumin. It's gonna give that uh, really nice flavor to it. And then one ingredient that's a little bit different uh, that we add to our chimichurri is uh, uh, garlic, or I'm sorry, uh, ginger powder. So this is gonna give it almost a little bit of sweetness to it. And it goes really nicely with the lamb. And then red pepper flakes. So I don't add very much of this. This is just kind of uh, to layer the flavors a little bit, uh, but just a little bit. Uh, so that it doesn't get too hot. And then we're gonna add extra virgin olive oil. So this is, uh, we use this as the marinade for the lamb, uh, but we also um, reserve a little bit just to kind of uh, top the uh, lamb with uh, when we do it on the final dish. Uh, it's going to uh, give it that nice, fresh, um, <clears throat> herbaceous bite to it. So I'm just gonna blend this up. All right, so we've got that all nice and pureed. <clears throat> I haven't added any of the ramp vinegar in. That's always gonna go in last. Um, and you wanna put the vinegar in right before you're going to uh, season the lamb or uh, use it as the top sauce. 
uh, because it, the vinegar is going to kind of turn the that nice bright green color. It's going to start to turn a little bit of brown um, if you leave it on for too long or do it too far in advance. So that vinegar, <coughs> we're just going to very slowly just kind of incorporate that in. All right. So now we've got our finished chimichurri sauce. So take one of our beautiful um, Elysian Fields lamb chops, just put that in a bowl and uh, give it a little bit of marinade here. So our uh, pan has, should be nice and hot at this point. So we're just gonna rub that in. Now, uh, normally I would let this marinate overnight uh, to really uh, lock in all those flavors and uh, you know, permeate the lamb. Uh, but uh, we're gonna do it a little bit faster here today, just so uh, we don't have to wait overnight. So we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. You don't want too much because there's a lot of fat on the lamb itself that we're gonna wanna render off. So <clears throat> anytime you're dropping anything into a pan with oil, always drop it towards your cameraman. So at this point, we're just gonna raise that heat up a little bit and let that cook right on that uh, cap of the uh, lamb. <clears throat> so you see, on the lamb, you've got this nice fat cap that lives right here. Uh, it's got a lot of really nice uh, uh, flavor in that fat. So what we really wanna do is just render that down nice and slowly uh, without really cooking this uh, the eye uh, too much. So we render that down, it's gonna make all of this inner rib meat really delicious. It's a uh, you know, really nice bone to pick up and, uh, and snack on. So then also going with this, we're gonna have uh, yucca potatoes. Uh, so those yucca potatoes, we're going to uh, just slightly uh, pan fry and uh, serve with a little bit of uh, uh, like a, a, it's a bravas aioli. So it's a Spanish style um, aioli made with uh, oil, uh, egg yolks, and then uh, some nice smoky peppers. Nothing really very spicy, just nice smoky peppers and a little bit of tomato. Um, and then also, the uh, green cauliflower, so that's gonna be blanched. And we're gonna use a little bit of this chimichurri to toss on it before we roast that in the oven as well. So you see we're starting to get that nice crispy skin right there. So we'll let this work for a little bit. And then uh, I'll show you the finished dish. All right, so you can see we've got the uh, you know, really nice crust on this lamb right here. Uh, so it's gonna be, that fat's gonna be nice and crispy and rendered down. And uh, <clears throat> really nice uh, crust on the meat itself. Um, so it's gonna give it a whole lot extra flavor. <clears throat> so we're gonna plate that up with, uh, we've got the green uh, cauliflower here. So this is just simply tossed in a little bit of uh, butter uh, with some garlic and some herbs. I got thyme and rosemary. Goes really nicely with the lamb. So if we were in the dining room, uh, I'd have this plated up on a nice plate, but um, <clears throat> just in case you wanted to take it out of uh, the box today and uh, plate it up, this is how we would do it in our dining room. We hope to be doing it soon again. So again, that's just a little bit of uh, brava aioli on the uh, potatoes. Uh, so it's gonna be nice and smoky and uh, go really nicely with the uh, lamb. And we've got that beautiful uh, lamb chop there. We're going to take a little bit of our chimichurri that we just made. And just kind of put that right over the top of the, uh, the dish. And there we have it. This is uh, Lysian Fields purebred lamb, the, uh, potato bravas with uh, yucca potatoes and uh, green cauliflower. Enjoy.